today we're going to be looking at how to create a Django template, which is basically just an HTML file. And we're going to be adding some bootstrap CSS to that to spice it up a little bit. And if you don't know what that is, we'll get into that in a bit. And then finally, um, these buttons aren't going to do anything. We're just strictly focusing on the user interface at this point. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing we want to do inside of our ship log directory and make sure your virtual environment is activated. We want to go into our event capture subdirectory and here we're going to make another directory called templates. And this templates directory is going to be the home for all of our HTML files. So let's go into that and make a new HTML file called index.html. Now if you remember from the previous video we had a very very basic HTML file or it actually wasn't even HTML file it was just two words hello world that was printed out on the screen. We are going to fix that this time and have a couple buttons on the screen using proper HTML. So I have this skeleton here this will be in the github page that I link in the description below. So don't worry about copying this down verbatim. You can always go to the GitHub URL and uh, clone that to your local repository. But if just, just for your own sake, um, since this is new, I'll go through each of these lines with you real quick. So uh, we have our basic HTML skeleton, which includes the HTML tags, a head tag that goes from there to there, and a body tag, which is currently empty. And inside of here, we have a couple meta tags, which are uh, good for, well, this one specifically is uh, helping it be responsive on mobile phones versus desktops. And then we have a link to a CSS file, and this is a bootstrap uh, CSS file, which we're gonna be using bootstrap version 4.1.0. And like I alluded to, Bootstrap is a visual library for helping your websites uh, primarily be responsive. Uh, they have a mobile-first design pattern uh, philosophy at Bootstrap. Um, so we're going to include their source code, this bootstrap.min.css file. And then also we're going to include the bootstrap.min.javascript uh, file. So once you have that there, we are going to be adding a few lines of code into the body of this HTML file. And this is going to be our buttons. So um, let's first off start by adding a div here. And it's going to be of class type container. And these are all specific bootstrap classes that we're going to be using which helps us not have to write so much CSS code. So we have our div container, and now we want um, another div inside of the, that div, which is gonna be called a button group vertical. And I mean, it's not called a button group vertical, it's a class called button group vertical. So we'll open and close that div. And then, Inside of this button group vertical div, we're going to add two buttons. So we're going to use the button tag for that of type button of classes. This one's going to have multiple classes, which you can do in CSS and HTML. So it's going to have a button and a button primary class associated with it. And I'll close that out. The value for this button, which is going to be the text that is on top of the button, is going to be a submarine. And now, if you're using Vim, you can do a YY for copy that line and a P to paste it. And the only thing we're going to change for the second button is we're going to call it buoy. So right there is a, a basic interface. Um, like I said, 
we're just going to start a very simple at this point just two buttons in a vertical group so it's going to they're going to be stacked on top of each other and that's all we're going to see on the html page but before we can do that we have to do a couple other things so we just created this directory and we added a file to it but as far like the django has no clue that we just did that Django has no clue that we just did that. So we have to go back out here into our settings file for our entire project and go down here to the templates tag. And in, in here we have a, a series of key, keys and values. So all we have to do here is tell, that, tell Django that there is now a directory where it should look for templates inside of the event capture directory and inside of the templates directory. So go ahead and save that off. That's all you have to do for that. And um, actually we want to go back into the event capture directory and we want to instead of our plain simple hello world response we want to get rid of that and instead of returning that we want to return the template that we just created so that's going to look like a return render we're going to pass it back the same request that it gave us and the name of the template that we are going to display so that looks good. We don't need this import anymore. So let's get rid of that. So we'll save this file. And now I think we're ready to go ahead and start up our server. So let's go to the root of our project and do a Python manage pi run server. So let's open up a browser, go to our local host colon 8000. Perfect, we see two buttons on our screen, some one for submarine, one for buoy, and they're stacked on top of each other. This looks great, um, but we can make this better, actually. Uh, the, the operator, the user of this website is gonna want big buttons, so let's make some big buttons. Let's move them to the center of the screen. And uh, yeah, we'll just start with that for now. So close out of that and go back into our event capture directory and open up the templates index.html file. So in here, let's make each button bigger. Well, CSS, or specifically the bootstrap library, makes that really easy for us. So to do that, we just do add a couple other classes, button large to make the buttons bigger, and button block to make the buttons wider. So we'll do that for both buttons. And in order for the button block to work, we have to add to the button group another class called W-75. And this W-75 means the, the element the HTML element, which is the button group vertical, is going to take up a width, hence the W, of 75% of its parent. So its parent is the container. And let's, uh, like I said, we want to make this, all the buttons centered on the page. So we'll add the text center class to the container. So I think that's all we have to do for that. So go ahead and save this file back out of here, and we'll start our server back up and see how that looks. So we'll go to localhost again, port 8000. So much better already. Two big buttons on the screen centered in the middle of the page. Great. One last thing, actually, let's keep that back up. One last thing, I don't really like how these buttons are pushed up against each other. So let's add some space in between them. We'll kill our server. 
and we'll go back and edit the event, capture, templates, index.html file. So in order to add extra space in between each button, we're going to have to modify the CSS for the button directly. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't know of any bootstrap classes that we can do that with. And this is horrible practice, but we're going to write some inline CSS code for now. We'll come back and fix this later in maybe the next video where we can start looking at um, static files in Django. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll do this inline for now. So we're going to add in here a style tag, which is going to say margin bottom with a value of 10 pixels. And we're going to do that for both buttons. OK. So let's see what that looks like. Write that, save it, start our server. And we still have this open from last time, so I think just a refresh should do it. There we go. Very good. Now, actually, not as good as it can be, though. If you zoom in here, how do you zoom in here? I just want to make sure you guys understand what I'm saying. So look how look how the corner of this button is square and the corner of this button, the side of the button is round. We can fix that. That is going to require us going back into our index.html file and adding another attribute to the style tag and that's going to be a border radius again of size 10 pixels and this time we're going to do exclamation mark for the fact that it's important which means that it's going to override any other CSS that wants it to look a different way that's all the important tag does so let's do that for the second button as well. Okay. Go ahead and save this. Start our server back up. Refresh the page. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's all I have for you guys today in this video of this tutorial series. I think next time we're going to look at taking that inline CSS that we just wrote and putting it into an external file. And that's going to uh, have us talk about static files in Django. And also maybe one other thing we're going to look at is the requirement for this project is to have these files hosted locally because these guys on the ship are not going to have internet access to go out every time and pull down these external dependencies. So we're going to host these files locally as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, stick around for the next one.